Our next selection takes us to Egypt, the year 1400 BC. Let's sit down to eat dinner with a Hebrew family on the evening of the Passover. Uh, honey, can you pass the lamb, please? Joseph, mm -hmm. stop playing with your food. Eat it. Rachel, what's, what's wrong, honey? I don't want to eat fluffy. Oh, I understand, baby. Fluffy but the pro tastes like chicken to me. Mm -hmm. Joseph! What? <laughs> honey, where you going? Joseph, when I get back, me and you, we're going to have a talk. Quit, Rachel. Listen to me, baby girl. I know that you're upset. Come over here to daddy, baby. Let me wipe your eyes. What I'm about to tell you, Rachel, you must not forget. So listen very closely and I'll give you a surprise. Your daddy and your uncles have been busy making bricks. And they don't pay us anything, just blood, sweat, and tears. If you came to where I work, you'd see the pyramids. Our people have been building those for 400 years. Remember when I introduced you to Mr. Aaron? The one who pinched your cheeks and said you had a nice dress? Well, him and Mr. Moses have been talking to the Pharaoh because the God of Abraham is going to give his people rest. Some crazy things been happening in the last couple of weeks. You didn't even notice because we living in Goshen. The smell of death is everywhere in Egypt and it reeks because Yahweh is angry and he's causing a commotion. First he spoke to Mr. Moses from the burning bush, commanded him to tell the Pharaoh let his people go so that it would be said from Egypt all the way to Cush that Yahweh is God because everybody would know. Then they went before the Pharaoh and all of his servants knowing that the Lord was going to harden Pharaoh's heart. When Mr. Aaron threw his staff it turned into a serpent. But Pharaoh had magicians and they used their secret art. This staff turned to snakes too but Mr. Aaron's ate them because they don't know that our God is the one who caused the flood So Pharaoh wouldn't let us in the wilderness to praise him So plague one, Yahweh turned the Nile into blood The fish died, the river stank, no water for Egyptians But Pharaoh's heart was so hard, he didn't even pause The miracle was somehow copied by Pharaoh's magicians So the second time around, Yahweh hit him with the frogs When Pharaoh still was hard-hearted, Yahweh brought the gnats This was plague number three, but now something was different As hard as the magicians tried, they couldn't copy that They told him this was God, Pharaoh still wouldn't listen Plague number four was the swarm of the flies Plague number five, all the livestock died. Plague six, swords terrorized. Plague number seven, fiery hell fell from the skies. What? You still with me, Rachel? Yeah. I need you to focus. I have something for you. Really? Soon I'll reveal it. Yeah. Continuing, plague number eight was the locust. And plague nine, it got so dark that you could feel it. You would think that Pharaoh had a little common sense. But after all of that, honey, he still hasn't budged. But when this night is over, he will be fully convinced. Cause Yahweh's gonna show himself to be the perfect judge. You know how you do bad things and then you get a beaten? Yeah. It's like that with God. He punishes our wrongs. He can't just look the other way because that would mean he's cheating but unbelievably he's been patient for so long but now time is running out and so is god's pity he's the universal ruler many don't want to cherish so tonight he's going to send the destroyer through the city and the firstborn son in every house is going to perish look over there honey see the blood on our door when god notices that he's going to pass by by faith we're believing in the word of the lord that whoever isn't covered by the blood's going to die so now back to fluffy it doesn't seem nice but part of god's plan was to substitute another an innocent victim fluffy paid the price because if it isn't fluffy, it's gonna be your brother. 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 But I don't want Joseph to die. Neither do we, honey. Neither do we. So you understand now? Yes. Okay. So where's the surprise, Daddy? I know. Where I told you I would give. Okay. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay. One. Keep them closed. Two. <laughs> three. Open them. Yay! <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> you like it? I love it. I knew you would. <laughs> Come here, give me a hug. Rachel, Daddy loves you. I love you too, Daddy. Okay, remember, do not tell your mother I gave this to you, okay? I won't. You promise? I promise. Okay. Daddy, do you hear that? What's that? Yeah, I hear it. That, that That's the wind. You know, we, we need to get back in. Come, come on, honey. Let's 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 get back in the house. Do we have to? Come on, let's go. We rushed into the house so we could finish up our dinner. Rachel, honey, eat your food as fast as you can. The bread was unleavened and the herbs they were bitter. Belt tight, sandals on with my staff in my hand. Joseph and Rachel, it's almost time to go to sleep. Mommy's gonna wash you up and I'll tell you a story. While Daddy's cleaning up, I don't wanna hear a peep. Matter of fact, I don't want you to have to wait for me. We put the kids to bed. I knew the time it was dawning. I looked at the table and that's when it hit me. Moses said, let nothing, nothing remain till the morning. morning. We had leftovers and I had to burn them quickly. I started grabbing me and throwing it on the fire all over my face there were drops of perspire i cried out for mercy as it came down to the wire the destroyer was here time had expired
At midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne, to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of the livestock. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians. And there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was not a house where someone was not dead.